Hey, good morning, you crazy cats. It's July the 27th. It's a Saturday. Tariff 2 today. Good news. However, there are about three separate different marches in town today. So that's going to be a pain. So I'm going to have to work around that. But first of all, I had a pre-booked job to get me into town. It's from W4 Chiswick to Waterloo. So let's go. Oh, the pre-booked job's on Taxi App, which is even better. No commission. Quick look around. Everything looks okay. I know it's pretty good because um, my last job yesterday was an airport. Okay. Get the taxi on. What have we got? 90 miles showing there on the range extender. And away we go. Now, Saturday, 27th July, tariff two, which is good, but like I said, yeah, lots of disruption um, is gonna be occurring in town today. Three marches. One's from uh, the Royal Courts to Trafalgar Square, the other one from Oxford Circus to Wellington Arch. And then there's a religious protest or a religious celebration going on in Parliament Square. So you've got the divergence of three different groups, but not all in the same place. Now this is gonna make me wanna stay west all day. So the key is not to get into trouble, not to block myself in, to stay west if I can, and hopefully just get five Heathrows in a row. What's the chances of that? Zero. Same function today, really, with the food. Bought my own food because the doctor said your cholesterol's a bit high. We might have to put you on statins, 55. Gonna have to go on a low dose of statins. How about you other cab drivers? How are you finding it um, staying healthy in this job? Well, I've got to make sure that I eat healthy. Haven't been doing a lot of exercise because of last month's little trip to Northwood Park Hospital. Anyway, got to get back into the running, that's for sure, or the golf. Yeah, how do you stay healthy, taxi drivers? Um, any of you guys on statins? How does that work? How do they affect you? Anyway, let me know. <laughs> Before long, I had ambled through Acton and had arrived in Chiswick. Okay, Somerset Road in lovely leafy Chiswick, which is a borough I used to live in. In fact, it was the first borough I lived in when I first came to London. And I thought that the whole of London was like Chiswick. And then my mate took me to Tottenham. Nothing against Tottenham. It's uh, four minutes past eight. The job is due out at 8.15. However, the taxi app app has got an inbuilt message system. So I will message the customer just to let them know I'm arrived. And then hopefully they'll be out at 8.15 and we'll be off to Waterloo. Ooh. Got a bit of luggage. Okay, Ford Somerset Road, left onto Acton Lane, Ford Beaconsfield Road, lovely day today. Comply roundabout, left South Parade, look at beautiful Chiswick in the early morning sun. Get to the end of South Parade, right the avenue, left Bath Road, past Arts Educational Schools, on the right, right Pre-Bem Gardens, all the way down to Chiswick High Road. Take a left here onto Chiswick High Road, wait for the lights, don't get impatient, that's going to take us onto King Street. Now I'm looking for a right turn onto Welcher Road, the one-way road that gets me a left turn onto the Great West Road, the main road into town. Ford Hammersmith flyover, get to the bottom of the flyover and then Ford West Cromwell Road. Bad traffic, take a left, Glidden Road, right Edith Road, left Oriel Road. I don't want to be stuck in that. Oriel Road gives me a right turn onto Hammersmith Road, Ford Addison Bridge and then Ford Kensington High Street. Wonderful morning this morning. Everybody's still in bed. It's still Saturday morning. So I'm absolutely cruising east along Kensington High Street. Kensington High Street then morphs into Kensington Road. Kensington Road still very empty this time in the morning. Kensington Gore past the Abbott Hall on the right and then back onto Kensington Road. Drop down into Knights Bridge. Bulgari Hotel on the right. So carry on forward through Knightsbridge, wait at the lights, then I'm free past Mandarin Hotel on the left. Stay in the left lane up towards High Park Corner, then comply High Park Corner. Will I get Constitution Hill? No, it's closed. I don't know what event was going on there. Left Grosvenor Place then, and then bare left again, lower Grosvenor Place. We're gonna have to go round. Left Buckingham Palace Road, right Palace Street, left Wilfrid Street, this fantastic little cut through to Parliament Square, right Buckingham Gate, left Petit France. 
So Ford Broadway, Ford Tuttle Street, right and left, Broad Sanctuary, Westminster Abbey on the right, and then comply Parliament Square for Bridge Street, forward the world famous Westminster Bridge, and we'll get to the lights at the bottom, are drift into the left lane, no doubt, forward and left Westminster Bridge Road, right station approach, follow this all the way around, lots of cabs queuing up this time in the morning, set down on left. Right, Waterloo done. Customers have jumped out, they're very happy, they're off on their holly bobs. Great job coming in on Taxi App. Um, gets me into town, which is wonderful, no commission to be paid, unlike free now, 18%. And away we go. So I guess Westminster Plaza Hotel, let's check that out, see if we can get job number two from there. Headed left onto York Road and it wasn't long before this happened. It looks like I've picked one up on the corner. So you want now on the Marble Arch end, Hyde Park corner. Okay, no problem, we'll get you there. Forward York Road then, left Addington Street, bear round right Westminster Bridge Road. Right Westminster Bridge, beautiful morning. London's looking amazing today, Ford Bridge Street. Now I'm gonna get forced left into Parliament Square, the odd tourist venturing out at this early hour can buy Parliament Square Ford Broad Sanctuary. And then it's Victoria Street, all the way up to Victoria Station. Roadblox on the right, bit of a pain. There seems to be a bit of a problem with the lorry here and trying to get past that, some queuing involved. However, up and running still, Victoria Street, and we're heading sort of northwest at this moment, past Victoria Station on the left. Forward and bear right, Grosvenor Gardens. That takes us onto Grosvenor Place. And we're going to hit Hyde Park Corner. Come by Hyde Park Corner. Leave by Park Lane. It's the bus lane all the way up to the top. We're heading north on Park Lane until we comply with Marble Arch. And I'm going to set these wonderful customers down on the left as soon as we get to Oxford Street. So set down on left. Thank you. Great. Ooh. Job number two done. That was a cash job, uh, which is handy. And that was from the London Eye, basically uh, York Road to the Hyde Park end of Oxford Street. That's what the lady said. And um, that's a pretty good start to the morning so far. From there, you turn back out onto Park Lane, past the Grosvenor House Hotel, left Mount Street, left onto Park Street, and this happened. Hi there. Harvey Nichols. Harvey Nichols, I know it well. I brake left quickly onto Colrush Street, then left Park Lane. Head down south towards Hyde Park Corner. Minimal traffic. Really, is everyone still in bed? Comply Hyde Park Corner all the way around to the west side of Hyde Park Corner, left onto Knightsbridge. Very straightforward job, this. And then I'm going to set down on the left for the world famous Harvey Nichols. Thank Thanks very much. Ooh. They're coming thick and fast. Job number three. Park Street to Harvey Nichols. I'm doing all right this morning. Glad I got up early. The question is, where do I go now? Let's head down the Cromwell Road, see what happens. Uh, you never know, I might get something off the street. Hunting for job number four. All right, let's go to an old favorite, South Kensington rank. Looks like there's three cabs here. See what we can get as far as job number four is concerned. Right, I am pushing forward on point. Not long to go now until job number four. Hello. Hi. You're in front of the hotel, right? Oh, there. hotel, yeah. Thank you. Okay, no problem. So, we are spinning around to go and pick up someone at the hotel. We are picking up someone at the Ampersand Hotel. And um, let me know if you know what an Ampersand is. I'm sure you all do if you've got a keyboard. Right. So Ampersand Hotel, job number four. Hi there. Good morning. Hi. Yeah, going to Buckingham, Buckingham Palace. Buckingham, not Palace. Buckingham, yeah, Buckingham, Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Okay, all right, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you there. Forward Harrington Road left, Cromwell Place, Bear Right, Thurlow Place, Exhibition Road on the left, Forward Thurlow Place, right onto the Brompton Road. The traffic is increasing. Those people are waking up and they're wanting their breakfasts and Saturday morning lattes past Howard's on the right. Forward Knightsbridge here, wait for the lights. Not a lot of traffic, just the one set of red lights to wait here. 
forward Knightsbridge, Mandarin on the left again, forward and bear left. The slip up to Hyde Park Corner, Constitution Hill is closed, remember? So I set down on the left. Thank you, nice Great. meeting you. Great, thanks Have very much. Oh, I need oh yeah, you just need to use the machine in the back. Oh, sorry. No, that's all right, <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, we're still charging. Oh, thank you, what's your name? Mark. Mark, thank you, Mark. No Have problem, lovely to thank meet you. you. Take care, bye. -bye. bye. Whew. Job number four. That was the South Kensington taxi rank to Buckingham Palace. And we can't go down Constitution Hill and drop off next to the palace because the park is closed. So we drop off just at the top of Constitution Hill. Job number five, here I come. Hi there. Just made it around High Park Corner, pulled into Grosvenor Crescent and then picked up. Ooh. Just picked up here. Victorian Albert, please. Victorian Albert, the yeah. Museum. Yes. No problem. Yes, I assumed it wasn't Victorian Albert in person. So right Grove to Crescent Comply High Park Corner, left into Knightsbridge. We're just going to keep going here. We're reversing the route we've basically just done. Forward Knightsbridge and Knightsbridge is going to morph into the Brompton Road. Soon the Victoria and Albert Museum will come up on our right and I will do a U-turn and set that down nicely on the left. Save the customers from crossing the road. Thanks very much, bye-bye. Okay, they're coming thick and fast this morning. Job number five, that was Grosvenor Crescent to the Victoria and Albert Museum. Pretty straightforward. I'm on the Victoria and Albert rank now, but no point staying here because there'll be no one coming out of um, this museum at the moment. Um, see the U-turn, which I think I'll do a U-turn because going into town is not a good idea with the amount of protests that are gonna be happening today. So let's head back, that, head back down the Cromwell Road, maybe look at South Kensington rank again or Queensgate. Right, just got one here, Harrington Road. Gentleman's called me down. I was just gonna shoot down to the South Kensington rank, but I've got one off the street. Hi, sir. Hi, Pavilion Road, please. Pavilion Road, yeah. Uh, okay, no problem. Nice little job here, forward Harrington Road. Stop at the lights, right, Cromwell Place. Left Old Brompton Road, quick left onto Pelham Street, takes us down to the lights at Fulham Road, forward. Sloan Avenue, beautiful day today. It's a pleasure to be working. Left onto Draycott Place, forward Draycott Place, right Simmons Street and set down on right. Wow, job number six done. Harrington Road to Pavilion Road. Now Pavilion Road used to be a road in London uh, around Sloan Square where literally nothing happened. But now it's a go-to road with artisan shops, cafes and restaurants. Um, and it's a day out practically. Check it out. Job number seven on the way from here, just going over the road to Sloan Square and I'm gonna rank up there. Okay, abandon the idea of Sloan Square. Too many cabs on the ranks there. Um, I'm gonna head up through Belgravia. Maybe look at the Harry Hotel. If not, let's check out the Colton Towers Hotel. Already a taxi on the rank outside the Harry Hotel. I only ever go there or rank up if it's um, if there's no taxis on the rank at all. Let's check out the Colton Towers. Well, that looks pretty busy as well. Um, okay, back round. I'm not waiting there when there's three cabs on the rank. Back up through Belgravia, Grosvenor Crescent. Why not rank up outside the Peninsula Hotel? We'll look at the turning circle on this world famous iconic black taxi. I pulled up on the peninsula rank. Um, oh, yeah, fantastic. One of the uh, bellhops is waving me in for a job. So let's see what we get out of the peninsula hotel. And if you want to stay here, the cheapest room is going to cost you £1,300 a night. Hello, sir. Oh, over to, uh, 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 Queensway. Queensway, yeah. Do you want a restaurant there? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, I'll get you to the restaurant there, yeah. Okay, exit the Hotel Forecourt, right Grosvenor Crescent, comply Hyde Park Corner. And then it's a left onto Park Lane, traffic building, as I thought it would at this time of the day, jumping in and out of the bus lane, of course, on Park Lane, which is very useful. Left 
Cumberland Gate, right Cumberland Gate, and then left onto Bayswater Road, Ford Hyde Park Place, Ford Bayswater Road. Now the lights here are going to take a little bit of patience because there is a bit of traffic building up. We're getting through towards Lancaster Gate on the right and then Ford Bayswater Road. The gentleman in the back is very hungry and is looking forward to his food in this wonderful restaurant. So a right onto the Queensway and then sit down on right. Okay, uh, job number seven done. Job number eight on the way. They're coming thick and fast, like I said. Not big jobs, but as long as that meter keeps ticking over, we're making money. From there, I headed back east up the Bayswater Road, Marble Arch down Park Lane, and then, funnily enough, I ended up back at the Peninsula Hotel on the rack. So, I'm back where I started. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because I got a good job out of there anyway. Right, so um, we'll go to Knightsbridge Station, yeah? Yeah, sure. Don't worry, it's just around the corner, but I'll get you there. I've literally done this job already today. U-turn Grosvenor Crescent, comply High Park Corner. Then a left turn onto Knightsbridge, and it's just a case of keep going. She wanted me to drop her off outside the Apple Store, so that's exactly what I did. Do you want me to close the door for you? I think I can do it. All right. Can close it? It's opening it. Great. Is that closed? Perfect. Have a great day. Ooh. Here we go. A quick job number eight and lovely lady and a lovely tip so you know you can't go wrong with that eight jobs done um i'm just gonna head down knightsbridge let's have a look at the rank at harrods um that's my nearest big rank there uh, hi uh, biltmore 44 grosvenor, grosvenor square, square. Yeah. no problem i'll get you there Okay, got to be careful while I do my U-turn here. It's got to be before the U-turn sign. So I did it and I was back onto Knightsbridge heading east. Traffic's still not so bad, actually. It was two turns on the reds there. Anyway, four past our old friend, the Mandarin on the left, bare left up towards Hyde Park Corner in the slip. Through the green light, left onto Park Lane from Hyde Park Corner. Stay in that bus lane until I start ebbing over onto the right turn for Upper Brook Street. Ford Upper Brook Street, past the first set of lights, comply Grosvenor Square all the way around and we'll set down on left. Well, it didn't take long to get off the Harrods rank. That was uh, Harrods rank to the Biltmore Hotel 44 Grosvenor Square. Job number nine complete. Next one's for double figures. Only one real big job today, lots of small jobs, but um, they've added up really quickly. So it's been a good morning. Hopefully I can get what I need, hit my target by two, three o'clock and get out of London back home before those protests are well underway. Um, say again. Edgar Road. Edgar Road. Yeah, where all the Millennium shop is. Oh, Edgware Road. Yeah, Edgware. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem, sir. <laughs> okay. Very straightforward from here, Ford Grosvenor Square, Ford Upper Grosvenor Street, cross Park Lane through Grosvenor Gate, once we get a green light that is, then right Park Lane. Ford and left and right Cumberland Gate, right Marble Arch, left Edgware Road, and then I'm just waiting for orders from my passenger for the drop off. We'll head a bit further up on Edgware Road and we'll drop off near what used to be the Barclays Bank. Okay. Grosvenor Square to Edgware Road. Another short little job around the corner. And as you can hear, when I put it into drive, the door isn't shut properly. So I've got to get out and shut the door. One second. I didn't get the opportunity to shut the door because someone was already jumping in. They wanted to go to Regent Street. Okay, no problem. So I'm facing completely the wrong direction. You turn down Edgware Road, left Crawford Place, forward and bare right. Crawford Street. Now it's coming up to 12 o'clock and the marches are starting at 12 o'clock and a job to Regent Street is not where I want to be going. So what I'm expecting is problems on the way and that's exactly what happened. So right on to Baker Street all the way down past Portman Square on the right. Now left turn here onto Wigmore Street. That's going to get me in a easterly direction. So forward Wigmore Street, looking for a right onto Welbeck Street, which before long I take. Left Henrietta Place. Traffic not good on Veer Street. I need Oxford Street for a left turn. Well, 
the police have already closed Oxford Street. So I'm forced to drop off on New Bond Street. Right, so I dropped off the Edgeware Road job, um, went out to close the door, and by the time I closed the door, a group of people had jumped in and wanted to go to Regent Street. Um, they were in the cab. I started heading towards Regent Street and I've had to drop off on New Bond Street as Oxford Street's closed, couldn't get up to Oxford Circus because the marches are starting and this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. So now it's a case of get out of Mayfair, get out of Park Lane and head west. So headed back through Grosvenor Square towards Upper Grosvenor Street. This is a, this is a nice piece of kit. I'd like one of these please Santa Claus. And off he goes into the Mayfair sunset. Right, looks like I've got a job just on the corner here of Park Lane. There we go. Let's get them in. All right, yeah, jump in, yeah. So this family actually wanted to go to Buckingham Gate, left down onto Park Lane heading south, and then bang, I hit it. Yep, you might be able to see the police vehicles in front. They've closed Park Lane. No access to High Park Corner. Forced around Achilles Way and then forced up north back onto Park Lane. Absolute nightmare. The protests had started. Yeah, I thought we might have just made it because I know they were closing about this time. I think we just missed it. Right. Oh, crazy. I thought I'd just make it through before the protest blocked off the roads at High Park Corner, but I didn't. So job number 12 did not happen. I dropped them off at Hyde Park Corner. I didn't even charge them, you know, because you didn't get them to their destination. So I was forced north up Park Lane and fortunately near the top, well, got a bit of luck. Okay, looks like I've got one here. So I'm heading up north on Park Lane in the bus lane for this particular job until I get a left and a right turn onto Cumberland Gate. Now, as you can see, the traffic is absolutely horrendous because it's all been forced up from the bottom of Hyde Park Corner. Right Marble Arch, left Edgware Road. And all the time I'm thinking to myself, isn't this fantastic? I'm driving further and further away from those protests. So this is good news for me making it northwest up towards St. John's Wood. Now, Colton Hill is one of the many Coltons in St. John's Wood. Colton Hill, Colton Vale, Colton Gardens, there's all of the Coltons up there. And I thought with Colton Hill, I could do a right turn on Maida Vale, which is the thoroughfare I'm on right now. I'm sure that's changed. However, I couldn't do a right turn. There's no right turn there, so I had to go past the light, do a U-turn of shame, and then do a left onto Colton Hill. Then I set the customer neatly down on the left. The good thing about job 12 was that it got me out of the problem areas of London, i.e. where all the protests are. So I'm here in St. John's Wood. There's no way I'm going back down Baker Street or Gloucester Place. Head west, Maida Vale, Westbourne Grove, Holland Park, Let's see what I can get out of there. Ended up heading towards Porchester Road and then... Okay, looks like I got one on the other side of the road here. Here we go. Okay, hi. Uh, Novikov at Berkeley Street. Um, where Novikov? Novikov at Novikov. Berkeley Street. Luckily. Uh, yeah, let's see how close I can get because they've got a lot of um, protests on at the moment oh, okay. and Park Lane was closed, but I'll get you as close as All I right. can. Alright, no worries. Okay, from here you turn back down Porchester Road heading south. These lights are a bit of a way, I wasn't happy with that. Anyway, waiting for my left turn onto Bishop's Bridge Road, which finally was given to me. For Bishop's Bridge Road right onto Gloucester Terrace, all the way down Gloucester Terrace until I can get a left at Lancaster Gate onto Lancaster Terrace. Then a sharp right turn onto Westbourne Street, left at the lights onto Stanhope Terrace forward and bear right Strathern Place past the wonderful Victoria Pub. Check it out. Go forward past High Park Square on the left and high roundabout lead by High Park Street, left Bayswater Road. Forward High Park Place, forward Bayswater Road, and then we hit Marble Arch. And this is where it all goes horribly wrong. 
bear right at the top of Marble Arch onto Park Lane and all the traffic is being forced all the way back round Cumberland Gate. There's no southbound traffic going down Park Lane. So I'm afraid it's another bailout job for the customers and I had to let them out a bit further up round the corner at Cumberland Gate. Job number 13, unlucky for some, unlucky for me, bailed out Marble Arch. All of Mayfair is closed because of the um, protest and Park Lane going south is closed. So no choice but for them to get off there. Two more jobs and we'll call it a day. I wasn't too sure where to go at this point. So I just headed towards Paddington Station and ended up on Parade Street. And well, this happened. Hello. Hi there. Can you take us to Trafalgar Square? No. No? The reason being is it's all closed because of closed? the protests. Oh, really? So, yeah, I mean, it, there's no way of getting to Trafalgar Square today. It's uh, protests? Yeah, there's two or three protests going on. and You can get to Marble Arch and then you'd have to walk the rest of the way. How about the Tower of London for the river cruise? I can do the Tower of London, yeah. That's not a problem. Okay. Yeah, because we can just go around the ring road and drop you off there. Thank Is that okay? Uh, if you, as long as you can point me to the tower. Oh yeah, I'll get. I'll get I won't put you in the tower, but I can show you the tower. Yeah. Okay. okay. So from Prade Street, we're going to the Tower of London. Um, it's just a case of forward Prade Street here. Now remember, all the traffic has been forced out of central London, so is using um, the world famous ring road, Merlybone Road, that takes us all the way around into the city. So forward Prade Street, forward Chapel Street, wait at the lights, bear left onto the old Merlybone Road, then right onto Merlybone Road, get myself in to that bus lane so as i'm heading east on the Merleybone road i'm thinking to myself wow there is a lot of traffic and of course there is because the traffic in town has been forced out of town and has got nowhere to go apart from these main arteries from east to west as you can see it's building up all the time Merleybone road eventually turns into euston road and i've finally got under the underpass. I won't show you all the waiting time we had to get through to get to this point, but I needed to bail out at Upper Woburn Place and finally I got there. And boy was I happy to see this right turn onto Upper Woburn Place, so forward Tavistock Square here and then forward Woburn Place after the lights. Moving into Russell Square, we'll keep heading south here and neatly on to Southampton Road. Traffic still not great. All these protests are affecting traffic all around Bloomsbury. Left turn here onto Theobalds Road, right Proctor Street. Stay in the left lane, the bus lane here, left onto High Holborn. Now the traffic is getting better because there's not a lot of traffic knocking about the city as far as protests are concerned. So Ford Holborn Viaduct decided to do right old Bailey here and then Lime Burner Lane and around and left onto Ludgate Hill because Warwick Lane is normally shut past St Paul's on the left. Forward St Paul's Churchyard which then morphs into Cannon Street. Two sets of lights here. We'll be doing the bare right into Cannon Street. Takes us past Cannon Street Station on the right. Okay, heading towards London Bridge on the right, but I won't be making a right turn onto the bridge. We're going to carry on forward through the two sets of lights onto East Cheap, and then East Cheap will then morph into Great Tower Street. And finally, we will be getting to the Tower of London or Tower Hill. So all the way up East Cheap, Great Tower Street through the lights. I decided I'm going to do a U-turn on Byward Street, take them back round to Lower Thames Street and drop them off right in front of the Tower of London. And we've arrived. Wow, Paddington Station to the Tower of London, job number 14. It was a good job, but the Euston Road and the Merlybone Road were an absolute nightmare until I turned off. One more job and then I'm heading back home. From the Tower of London, I just needed to head west, Upper Thames Street, Lower Thames Street, Puddle Dock, and then I did a right turn onto Queen Victoria okay, Street. Okay, got one on Queen Victoria Street. Let's see where this one's heading. Hi there. Hello, Oxford Circus. 
Okay, I'll get you as close as I can because there's been a lot of protests today. Really? That, that's fine. We are going shopping uh, around there. So okay, I can... Street or something like yeah, that. Yeah, if uh, I can... If it's not closed. Wh wherever I you can. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, Ford Queen Victoria Street, last job of the day, left Friday Street. Any ideas why it's called Friday Street? Left onto Cannon Street, Ford St Paul's Churchyard, wonderful cathedral on the right. Again, Ford Ludgate Hill. Wait at the lights at the bottom of the hill, Ford onto Fleet Street. Not doing Fetter Lane, I decided. Let's do Chancery Lane. Absolutely empty, going all the way north up here. So get to the end of Chancery Lane, hit the red light, goes green, left onto Holborn. Forward High Holborn hit the lights at the Kingsway Junction. Cross the junction at the Kingsway and then we're still heading forward and left High Holborn. Traffic's getting busy, obviously lots of protests in town and things are not looking good. This is going to be a bailout job. I can see a policeman ahead of me, lots of road closures. It's going to be a nightmare trying to get to St. Giles High Street. So after a conversation with my wonderful passengers, they decided to bail out. There you go, guys. 15 jobs today, three off ranks. One was a taxi app job. The first job of the day, a pre-book, took me from W4 Chiswick right into the thick of it, Waterloo Station. And then the rest were street jobs. 15 jobs in all, not a bad day. I tried my best to stay out of the protest, but it seems my customers had different ideas and wanted to drag me back in it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching today. Leave any comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button. If you really enjoyed the episode, why not subscribe? Until next time, see you back here.